The first technique we will cover is called equivalence partitioning. Equivalence partitioning is a method of deriving test cases when we have large number of input data to choose from. Using equivalence partitioning helps us cut down exponentially on the number of test cases required to test system when we have large number of input data ranges. It is an attempt to get good test coverage to find the most errors with the smallest number of test cases. In this method, classes of input conditions called equivalence classes are identified in which each member of the class causes the same kind of processing and therefore leads to the generation of the same output result. In other words, a class is a set of input conditions is likely to be handled the same way by the system. If we are supposed to get an error while testing a condition with certain input from a class, then system should get same error for all other inputs from the same class. Let us look at how we can implement equivalence partitioning. The first step towards implementation is to examine the input and output. Divide the inputs and outputs into equivalent classes based on the behavior. Inputs can be valid or positive scenarios and invalid or negative scenarios. Following are some general guidelines for identifying equivalence classes. If the requirements state that a numeric value is input to the system and must be within a range of values, identify one valid class input which are within the valid range and two invalid equivalence classes inputs. The invalid classes will be lower than expected inputs and higher than the expected input. If a system accepts date of birth as an input and gives age as an output, we can identify classes as follows. First valid input class will be date is greater than zero. This will generate a valid output which is greater than zero. Second invalid class will be date is less than zero. For this invalid input, output class will generate an error message. Hence, in this case, our classes will be all date of birth less than zero and other class will be all date of birth greater than zero. Any value within same class gives output value from the same class, either age, which is greater than zero, or an error message. But one should notice that in first valid input class, the output will not be the same. Rather, the output will be different for each different input value, but will remain in the same class, which is age greater than zero.